A new version of the abortion rights question could appear on Missouri's ballot next year. A St. Louis area Republican filed new petitions that would add exemptions to Missouri's abortion ban. Joe McLean spoke with that conservative activist, activist who filed the petitions. These new ballot questions propose a sort of middle ground to the abortion question. It would still be illegal in the state of Missouri, but it would also come with a lot of exceptions that have been talked about for years. Still, this is an issue where a lot of voters think there's no room for a middle ground. Six new versions of an abortion rights question were filed with the Secretary of State's office Wednesday, which would change Missouri's abortion law in two ways. First, it would add exceptions to the abortion ban for cases of rape, incest, fatal abnormality of the fetus, and as a means of saving the mother's life. It would also prevent the state from criminally punishing anyone who gets, performs, or helps someone get an abortion in or out of the state. The current law runs completely afoul of public opinion. Longtime Republican operative Jamie Corley formed the Missouri Women and Family Research Fund this summer. She's the one who filed the new petitions. Still, though, many abortion rights activists say their core opposition is to the government deciding when an abortion is appropriate instead of an individual's doctor. The president of Planned Parenthood's St. Louis and Southwest Missouri chapter released a statement saying, as a health care provider and the last abortion provider in the state, we know the consequences of abortion bans and restrictions. Exceptions have never provided meaningful access. While some are proposing ballot measures that will continue to harm Missourians, we will continue to fight for meaningful access that Missourians need. Corley says these petitions are designed to be passable and to help Missouri move closer to a consensus. We put together initiatives that there is a pathway to passage and and something that voters we think will overwhelmingly approve if given the opportunity to vote um, at the ballot box. Notably, polling from last year indicates that Missouri's likely voters overwhelmingly support these exceptions to the abortion ban, while only about a third support ending government restriction altogether, largely cutting along party lines. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.